Okay, Professor. Do you have a minute? I've always got time for you, Chloe. Is something bothering you? You could say that yes. I hope it isn't something I did. No, it isn't you, Professor. It is the current state of things. I thought since the sudden gamer uprising things would get better. Instead they're getting worse. I noticed that too. But gamers are still standing up for themselves. That is true. But it feels like... For every victory we have two setbacks. That is it exactly. You didn't really think things would change overnight, did you? You can't sweep away nearly two decades of corruption with one little uprising. I know that. It just feels like we're not making progress. Battlefront 2 was a small skirmish in what is a much larger war. We're dealing with companies that are too used to getting their own way. We took too long to find our voice. What should have been an easy victory is now an uphill slog. Are you saying it's pointless? No, not at all. Just that our fight is harder than it should be. Let me explain. Oh, I know where this is going. Fanbot, two to beam up, please. Message received. Two to transport. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it has been almost a year. I was concerned about some anomalies in the system. But reading seems to have stabilized. At least for now. You were saying how we were still fighting a bigger war. Yes, we are. The battle to be treated with respect has only just begun. I was hoping things would change faster. Change against this kind of corporate corruption doesn't happen quickly. You really don't like corporations, do you? No, I don't. Let me clarify, though. I don't hate corporations in general. What I hate is the corruption they can foster, and sometimes even encourage. Such as the greed. Profit at any cost. I accept that businesses exist to make money. The problem with corporations is they value investors more than their customers. At least most of them do. There are good corporations. Less evil is the correct term. It's the profit at any cost thing that's the biggest problem. That's why we have companies that do unethical and even illegal things. Monsanto, Apple, Google, and Facebook. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Okay, that's an exaggeration. But as corporations go, they are among the worst. What about electronic arts? If those are the four horsemen, EA is the beast. All jokes aside, Professor, they lead the pack when it comes to bad game companies. We made them behave when it came to Battlefront 2. Let's be honest here, though. That was Disney's doing, mostly. Look at FIFA 19 and what EA is doing in Belgium. That is not the actions of a company that has learned its lesson. What about their stock losing 40% of its value? I was going to get to that. Oh, what about it, Professor? Nothing makes investors more nervous than corporations bumping heads with the law. 
in this case the gambling laws in Belgium. EA fighting back has made other countries respond. Australia, for instance, called for a comprehensive investigation. That wasn't long after the Federal Trade Commission said they would investigate them too. More than 16 countries are looking at loot boxes as gambling. Yet the FIFA organization remains silent. Oh, they do deserve the face and pressure for allowing EA to use their brand to promote gambling. In fact, we gamers can do just that, put pressure on FIFA. Just because EA is simply licensing their brand doesn't absolve them of responsibility. If you use a licensed IP to promote something illegal, watch how fast you have that license taken away. Electronic Arts is playing with fire. Fire? They're playing with an armed grenade. Their profits at any cost corporate mentality is seriously stifling their common sense. Hence the reason their stocks took a sharp dive. Losing 40% of their stock value is a big chunk of change. We're not talking a few million or even a few hundred million. They've lost tens of billions. Wait, that much really? Oh yes, with as much as they were worth, they lost more than 20 billion. That's a message they can't ignore. Exactly. They can ignore their customers, but they can't ignore Wall Street. The thing is, with EA's shareholders doing this, it will prompt other shareholders to take a second look at the game companies they invest in. I guess you could say this was a bank's banking. <laughs> that it was. So, what can we take from all this? We are winning, first of all. How so? Governments are taking notice. In turn, that's making investors nervous. Whether they're doing it for noble reasons or not is irrelevant. What matters is what EA is doing is getting them into serious trouble. And that is good for us. Which means we can't sit back and relax. We still have much to do. In putting a leash on corporate greed in the gaming industry, we only just got started. Remember to visit the Gamers Bay community on MeWe.com, and if you'd like to help our channel, please give to our Patreon. Links are in the description below.